I don't agree with the idea that men and women should have their separate lanes and auras. I hear it a lot that men need to be hyper masculine and it would be really good if women were hyper feminine. Whilst this is attractive, I'll not lie, and it's probably a great way to start a relationship existing in your true form at the beginning. As the relationship progresses, and the honeymoon period gets whipped away from underneath your feet. You're left with two people that need to exist together. Forever is a mightily long period to live with someone. You're going to have to work at it if you want it to last. About six months into my relationship, I remember my wife telling me to pick my shit up from my feet because it was no longer cute and that I should really start picking up after myself. She wasn't wrong though. And I could really be a slobby, annoying git. Shout out to anyone that's lived with me before and understands what that means. This goes to show that after a time of living together, you're left with having to exist and to work together as two people trying to make life best for the both of you. Sometimes conflict needs to happen for a solution to appear. This can also be very frustrating, compromising, because when existing in your true form, both men and women see things from a different perspective. Me, the logical person, I'm always going to look for solutions that make complete logical sense. And my wife, choosing how she feels in her emotional state, sometimes chooses things that makes no sense whatsoever. It can be tough striking a balance or even coming to terms with this and a lot of couples fail and end up separated because of the lack of communication that is why i love the quote men are from mars and women are from venus we are actually quite a lot different at core but then wouldn't a man that speaks Venetian win the day? Winging back to my original statement that we shouldn't exist in our pure natural form, I think there needs to be quite the balance, and it helps for trying to understand your partner. If you speak fluent Venetian, then women are going to absolutely love you. There's no shortage of women that speak fluent Martian on YouTube, and we all get a kick out of it, because that's all anyone wants is for the other gender or at least someone to understand them. It's the same with women, they just want to be understood. And if you can speak fluent Venetian, boom, you win, you get all the women. Of course your native language will always need to be Martian, you will need to embody the traits and essence of a man. Women don't need another woman, they want a man to understand them. That's where nice guys fail. They've lived on Venus for so long they forget what it's like to be Martian. They give off Venetian vibes and it turns off women. That's actually what nice guys don't realise about themselves. If they learn to be more Martian then they'd be so far ahead of other guys. Because they already know every part of Venus blindfolded and with one hand tied behind their back. Metaphors are side, my main point is that by being hyper masculine will only work for so long. Things change after kids and a long term relationship or marriage. If you don't try to understand her on any level then you're going to have a bad time. She'll eventually get bored of only trying to understand you and you'll eventually be pegged as one dimensional and that's no good. Lack of communication between men and women is actually where it mostly breaks down. I learned this in my marriage. I used to think or I was taught that men and women are the same or there is not much difference between us but then after being married to my wife for more than 10 years, I've learned that women think on a completely different level and it's important to understand that and care about it too. After all, her happiness is just important as mine. And that's it for now guys and girls. Thank you very much for listening. Peace.